We are confident that our WinForms data grid has no equal in the Windows Forms UI component market. From performance and filtering to customization and built-in analytics, our WinForms grid is a powerhouse UI component, able to solve a wide variety of business problems with ease. If you're new to our WinForms product line and have yet to experience the flexibility of our WinForms data grid, be sure to point your browser to devexpress.com slash try to download your free 30-day trial today. In this tutorial, I'll describe one major reason our grid can do so much for so many different usage scenarios. The title of this tutorial is not a mistake. Thanks to its industry-first, view-based architecture, our grid allows you to present data using multiple data display metaphors, including standard tabular layouts, banded column layouts, Windows-inspired tiles, Windows Explorer-inspired lists, Outlook-inspired cards, and yes, even Kanban boards. Without any further delay, let's get started and allow me to show you how to leverage our WinForms data grid and present information to end users via the use of Kanban boards. For this video, I'm going to use the main technical grid demo app shipped within our WinForms distribution. If you'd like to follow along, please click the Tile View Kanban board link in the left navigation pane of our WinForms data grid demo. As you can see, the Tile View Kanban board demo is just that a Kanban board rendered within our grid. Version 20.1 will include a number of key enhancements for the DevExpress Kanban board, so I'll focus on these new features throughout this video. We expect to ship version 20.1 in May 2020. The first version 20.1 feature I'd like to demo in this tutorial is auto height support for individual Kanban tiles. Notice the tile labeled Mail Demo Redesign. This tile is slightly larger than others because of the image displayed within it. So with our new update, you can deliver a much more refined user experience when using our grid's Kanban capabilities. Each tile can adapt height to its contents. Dynamic tile height mode is best used for lengthy text or large images. To limit the number of visible text lines, you can simply use our new max line count option. Very cool. The next version 20.1 feature I want to demonstrate is persistent group support. This simply means that you can now move all tiles away from a Kanban group and retain the empty group. In this instance, our testing group now has zero cards or tiles within it. This, of course, is an option. Should you wish to remove an empty group, you can always do so. Yet another version 20.1 feature is button support for Kanban board groups. You now have access to two different button sets. One is located at the top of the group, in this case the plus symbol, and the other is located at the bottom of the Kanban board. A couple of quick notes on these two buttons. Custom buttons displayed at the top of the group can be visible all the time, or only visible when a user hovers the group header. The text and visibility of custom buttons displayed at the bottom of a group can be managed as needed. For this demo, these two buttons do the same thing. They allow you to create a new card within the Kanban group. Needless to say, you can associate any action within these buttons. You don't need to generate new cards as we've done in the demo. The final two version 20.1 features I'll cover are HTML tag support within Kanban group headers and background color support. Like auto height, these two features will allow you to deliver highly refined user experiences user experiences that meet and exceed end user expectations. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this introductory tutorial on the DevExpress WinForms Kanban view. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below.